Data centers are part of our everyday lives. They power things like emails, video calls, movie streaming, and even emergency services. Inside, they hold thousands of computers called servers that generate a lot of heat. To keep them running safely and efficiently, data centers use cooling systems. These systems rely on different methods, like air, water, and special liquids, to remove heat while also saving energy and reducing water use. At Microsoft, we work to cool our data centers using as little water as possible. In many places, we use outside air to keep our computers cool most of the year. In Sweden, we can do this all year long. In places with warm days, over 85 degrees Fahrenheit, we use a system called Direct Evaporative Cooling, DEC. It pulls in outside air and some water to make the air cooler. This cooling type uses less energy than air chillers, which are similar to air conditioners. The water for direct evaporative cooling comes from the local water utility and is circulated between two and five times in our system before it goes back to the utility to be cleaned, just like water that goes into a drain from a sink or shower. Before we build our data centers, we work with local water companies to make sure we're not using too much on those warm days. And if new pipes or systems are needed, Microsoft helps pay for them so the community doesn't have to. In temperate places like Ireland, we only need to use water for about 19 days a year. In hotter places like Georgia, we use water for about 55 days a year. We are also evolving our data centers to use new technology called liquid-to-chip cooling. It brings a special liquid right to the computer chip to cool it down. This liquid stays in a closed loop, so we don't need to add more water after the first fill, making it more energy and water efficient. At Microsoft, we care about saving water and building data centers that are good for communities and the planet.